Hello, it's me, Ross Harmston from the Danger Club podcast. Wasn't that episode just great? <laughs> I loved it when that thing happened with that thing. <laughs> Do you know what else is great? Our Patreon. Head over there to get more exclusive content and rewards. So what are you waiting for? Do it. Do it now. I'll wait. I'll just I'll just wait. It's okay. Just gonna wait. Do 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 oh, that reminds me I've got to take the bins out later. Um Yeah, if you could hurry up actually. I, I, I thought I had more time than I actually did, but uh yeah. Subscribe. Previously on the Danger Club podcast. Yowzy Whoop has told me a few things about your situation. What things has he told you? <laughs> we need transportation to the capital of Nix. You want to take two items of great power to the Scrivenborough. It is the only way we can learn about the powerful shards. Perhaps it is only fools that we can rely on. 24 hours with Beelzebub and Carragher. <laughs> One. Two, three, four, five, six. The adventure seven. continues. Get it, go, go. Now. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Danger Club podcast. Hey! hey. hey. Talking of rants. Right, I've got something I yeah. want to say. Yeah, do it. Oh, no, 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 like okay. So look, uh, showers. Right, showers. <laughs> you all have showers, don't you? Yeah, you all have showers. I'm familiar with. Yeah, showers. Yeah, you're familiar with showers and baths. Also, things that get you clean. Right now, I, 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 I think we take them for granted. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. I think we take them for granted because I, 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 I'm still in my Santa gear. Uh, you guys can see that on the Zoom. I'm still covered in white paint I mean. from head to toe and looking ridiculously festive. Um, uh, th- but, but that's 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 not our choice. That's not our choice, right? Uh, I was I was I was up for a long time last night, sort of doing my Santa business, and then I couldn't have a shower at two thirty in the morning because there was a mattress in my bath. Right, and uh, and then and then I couldn't this morning because there were kids everywhere, and I I just started thinking right about about a future where you don't have to have showers, right, or baths. Yeah, I was thinking about a future where you have like a window, right, or like a sort of a door frame, and you just walk through it, and it cleanses you, and you, and you and it takes like two seconds, and you feel great at the end of it. You feel exactly like you would when you come out of a you know out of a sort of a shower or a bath or something like that. You know what I mean? Your hairs glossy and you feel great and you're actually clean and like that you know and i thought what i should do is pitch this as a film idea to uh to dan Harmon because he fucking hates showers um <laughs> what, what was, so basically you want to create a car wash for humans. yeah 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 yeah, yeah um, something like that with less scrubbing less scrubbing and who more would, like who so all right who would be in your film about uh, a shower that you <laughs> well, I mean uh, Michael uh, Fassbender probably star? Fassbender <laughs> well, he might be he might be the guy that invented it but actually turns out to be like an evil like he's you know what I mean like so you think oh like he's revolutionized cleaning he's made everything more time efficient for everyone he's changed the world with this invention but actually he's an evil dictator motherfucker so you know there's two sides <laughs> all right, that's the all twist. right. And I want someone to create a movie poster for drums film yeah, oh, with Michael Fassbender that would be what sick would the title of the film um, I think it'll be called um, Clean Sweep um, Ooh, and, nice. uh, and and I think also <laughs> as, as well like sort of you know the, the, the more ordinary protagonist you have Jack Black as the like dirty guy you know what I mean who there's the sort of the, the Dan Harmony type character <laughs> yes, Jack, Jack Black <laughs> Yeah, you are a Please dirty do. guy. <laughs> yeah. You just remind us of a dirty guy. Well, you, remi- you know, I feel I feel like we have an affinity, me and Jack Black, and uh, and I'm a dirty guy. So you know, so it's like a yeah. is it like a sort of French film where like no one has character name? They're just called like dirty guy, clean woman, dirty guy, dictator rat. Um, <laughs> dictator rat, <laughs> dictator rat. I don't know. They're both they're both quite expressive actors as well. I can yeah. imagine their facial reactions as they walk through the car body wash, <laughs> like Michael Fassbender being sort of like German and European, like gently surprised and wow, how efficient it is, and Jack Black being like. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I think it, I think it work. I think it's a goer. I think we should um, it send is. a treatment. I, to I Dan think Harmon. it's the Academy. I think it's the Academy Award one drum. I think yeah. this is this is Michael Fassbender's bear. <laughs> this is his. <laughs> this is the thing that's going to get him over the line. Um, yeah. on, on that award. Yeah, that's what I was. Michael thinking. Splashbender. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Wow. Uh, anyway, what a, all right. What a treat. <laughs> Sorry, this that, yeah, right. We should we should get we should do some adventuring or something, I suppose, shouldn't we? Or, <laughs> yeah. Unless we anyone should, else has got yeah, a rant they so. want to get off their chest, I don't know. Jack Yeah, Jack Black Sack and Crack. <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> what know, the fuck? I just took a drink of water. <laughs> I almost spat it all over my waiting. computer. <laughs> I was trying to spot it. Jack. Back oh, up. the one so. time we've said we're not going to put the video of this up on YouTube. We've got Santa. We've got drum dressed as Santa choking to death over a back sack and crack joke. Right. Speaking yeah. of good, clean fun. When we last left you off, you were in the Arcanarinium. You had gone down the, uh, gone down into the basement to meet the uh, the goblin, uh, the goblin ritualist Wormer Brainsprout, um, who had come up with a, a cunning plan uh, of how he was going to get all of you uh, to Nex. <laughs> Um, oh, it's like a horrible dream. I just remembered it all again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, How it goes in for it. Oh. There are, I mean, the, the, there, there are two ways that uh, there are two ways that we remember stuff that happened at a previous record on this show. It either comes crashing back in a horrible nightmare uh, and there's a moment of chill, or it never comes crashing back and we just repeat the previous episode to try and remember where we were at. But this time, we're in nightmare country. Um, specifically... Caragor is in nightmare country uh, because as Bubba, Velda, Shania, and Philippe have gone off to the uh, the free bar um, in the Arcanarinium, it's subsidised. It's uh, you know they they've got their claws into government more than Beelzebub does. Uh, Beelzebub and uh, Caragor have remained behind with Worma, uh, and for the next twenty four hours are going to have to help plot a course for this teleportation circle to take them to Nexus House in the city of Quantium. And if they get it wrong, things could go very badly. So, we will begin things in the office with Karagor and Beelzebub during the first hour of preparations. Let's just go for the first hour so far, because we've got 24 of these to get through. This is the next 24 episodes, by the way, if you want. If the, <laughs> the other three of you just want to go and, like... We're going to play it out in real time. Yeah. This will be Worm, sick. Yeah, it's Worm is played by Kiefer Sutherland. Uh, it's the new series. <laughs> so we're going to do 24 episodes of that, and then we're going to go back and do 24 episodes of us in the bar, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it will just be drinks reviews, mixology yeah. classes. Um, so... Wormer is uh, Wormer is currently spreading out um, various alchemical um, alchemical and ritualistic materials. He's got a lot of candles, lots of little bowls with different coloured powders and things on them, uh, various animal bones, things like that. Uh, and he's unrolling an ancient-looking uh, map of Galarian. Um, he's rolling the whole thing out. Um, clearly, he's bought his uh, Lost Omens World Guide. It comes with that, um, but it's a very old one, so it's looked pretty. T- it's tea stained and stuff. Um, he's still got the tea bags in a little side pot. Now listen, it is very important that we get everything exactly right when we use the ritual magic. I can summon the circle, but I need your help in order to make sure that everything goes to plan. So, one of you who is skilled in crafting will have to help construct the circle to my exact requirements. The other, who is skilled in navigating and tracking, must help work out exactly where we must place the other circle based on the distances we are to cover and the places we are going. If we get it wrong, the circle could open anywhere within a 10 mile radius of the place we are intending to go to. And since that is, since the options outside of Nex, outside of Quantium would be the sea on one side and the monster infested wastelands on the other, we must be very careful to land exactly where we intend to. The slightest deviation could result in your atoms being smashed across the cosmos. 
and you will be lost in the darkness forever. Are you confident in the path that we are about to take? It's only been one hour with my bestest friend. <laughs> one hour with my bestest friend. His name's Cadigal. Jim, but him. His name's Cadigal. Bum, but him. One hour with Beers and Bob and <laughs> one now is a rhythm kind of go. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, 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 is Ross Ross started his bit and <laughs> promptly everyone started doing something else. Everyone looked away from the screen. Everyone just looked around. We've, we've become immune. We've become immune to the bit now. We've become immune to Ross Armstead. Also, he looked exclusively up at the ceiling, which leads me to believe that Ross has written down the lyrics and stuck them above his head. He was looking up entirely and still managed to get words wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I just I think we just get a sense of when it's going to be a long one. Yeah. And I was like, yes, yeah. yeah, it's going to be a long one, right? We're just going to let it let it run its course. Uh, think of England. Yeah. Uh, Dan, having uh, given you a, a big compliment uh, uh last week on your on your on your um your Werner Herzog, um it went pretty Afrikaans, I felt there. It was uh, interesting <laughs> little going on there. Yeah. A little bit South African yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's that's, kind of that's so lacquer, bro. Ugh. Guys, we've, we've we've all been on stage. We don't accept notes from the stage manager when we're in the middle of a show. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Until the break. <laughs> <laughs> if any of you are listening, <laughs> once again, we've done it again. Take we've that gone note into, on board. Gone into Pramble again, mid mid stuff. Sorry. <laughs> you, well, uh, hey, we got is not listening. <laughs> Um, Beelzebub, you've got to craft something. It's very dangerous. You've got to do it very specifically. All right. Ah, yes. Don't worry. If you need crafting, you can have the bestest kid after in the world. Beelzebub makes me the third. Is Jam Jam with us? Yeah, Jam Jam is. Jam Jam is there. Jam Jam is. I can't help but feel like that's an added anomaly somehow. <laughs> Uh, Would you like me to start randomly mixing things as usual, father? No, you can do a little dance for me. <laughs> he says, doing a, a new dance. He's been practicing in his room. Uh, he's just been there in front of his mirror. Just been like, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> one, two, three, four, four. Surprise do it better, Jam do. Jam. <laughs> Win your father's love. Hold, hold on a second. Jam Jam's got his own room with a floor-length mirror. <laughs> yeah. I mean, did this fair, happen? <laughs> is this a subplot? Is this a spin-off now. series that we haven't watched yet? You know, what's happening at Jam Jam's? Like, <laughs> What's up with Jam Jam? Uh, I'm surprised he's doing that with a wedding dress on. A skin wedding dress <laughs> as well. Flesh dress. Meat dress. Anyway, yes, I will... I guess roll for crafting. Oh, do you will roll for crafting at the end of the twenty-four hours? Oh, okay. Um, all right, so he begins. <laughs> he begins <laughs> instructing you. Twenty-four hours of songs. <laughs> 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 so he begins instructing you on kind of uh, like these are very complicated instructions of exactly the dimensions of the circle um, and exactly which particular pieces of incense have to be burned at which place, um, where the candles have to be what their height has to be at like he just keeps reeling off instructions um do you want me to write it down for you yes <laughs> he yes, begins, writes it down for him <laughs> he begins he begins writing the instructions down and you ranger you must help us to plot the course exactly now we know uh we know roughly how fa- we know roughly how far quantum is but we do not know how long it will take us to get there. We know exactly how fast one travels by by a portal, but we must work out how long it would take to travel by foot, and then we must mark out some specific landmarks. I have a book here of images, hand-drawn images from the Pathfinder Chronicles of Quantium. It is your visualization 
that will visualize exactly where we are going to land. So you need to have a very clear mental picture of exactly where we are going to appear. You must right. know this city as if it is your own city. As if it is your own balls. I was... He sort of paused. There was a... I was so on board with that speech. That's That spoke so true to me. <laughs> just something at the end just slightly... It was like watching a, someone's Twitch stream. Anyway, um... <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 have you got any? Have you got? Any, have you got any things that would help me get into the city? Normally, like drinking the products and smelling the earth and things like that. Have you got any sensory uh, elements where I could engage? Maybe lick. Yes. He uh, flings the door open <laughs> and just cries out into the hall. He cries out, out, out Miguel, bring us the earth. And the beer! Um, you hear a shout from Mad Thing going, I don't fucking work for you! Stop yelling at me! As he pauses for a minute and goes, I'll go get it. And he just scuttles off out of the room, leaving the two of you alone together in this creepy room. Thanks. Don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. Yeah. Put that down. Spit that out! Yeah. Can I go? Yes. Can I go? Uh... Beelzebub looks at the floor, shuffles his feet a little bit, and goes, uh, Do you, uh, like me? God, I thought we could get at least eight hours in. I thought we could get at least maybe just a normal day in before we start doing this. <laughs> what? Like's a very funny word, Beelzebub. You see, I, uh, I don't have... Oh, come on, you lost the most emotionally repressed member of the group. Why have you done this to me? Of all people. I'm not, I'm a good, I, the other day, a while ago, I tried to get them to bond with me by punching me in face. And and that's a, my preferred mode of contact for that kind of stuff. Do you want to punch me, Beelzebub? We could, we could, we could cross that boundary really quick. He's going to come back in a minute with his earth and his beer and his prophecies. Uh, no, uh, I, I wouldn't want to hurt me if... My friends. Aye, but sometimes friendship is pain, Beelzebub. Sometimes you've got to suffer for your mates. Sometimes you've got to make the wrong decision for the right time. Punch me! Uh, uh, punch me uh, in the face! Uh, uh, he uh, goes to punch Karagor in the face. <laughs> uh, with a... That's not too bad. Uh, with a... 27. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, I'm alla allowing you to do it, so. Yeah, so he punches him in the face. <laughs> Good! Ah, that's it. Ah, that's it, Beelzebub. Right in the chops. Now, don't mean to punch you. <laughs> uh. Y yes? <laughs> yes! Punch my father! <laughs> Go on then. Uh, uh, Karagor pulls his fist back. Uh, Beelzebub winces, closes his eyes. And he puts his arm out, open-handed, for a handshake. See? Got to make the wrong decision at the right time. Uh, he goes to shake Karagor's hand. Karagor pulls him in and headbutts him lightly on the nose. <laughs> See that? <laughs> that is what you got to learn. Friendship is surprising and, and weirdly <laughs> violent and stuff, but you're all right, Beelzebub. Okay, we're going to get through this. You and me. Jam, He's jam, got a, a new... Go on, sorry. sorry jam, jam, cheers as the headbutt lands. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Beelzebub sort of like, after like touching his head, he sort of smiles a little bit. Uh, and goes, yeah. Yeah, He's my friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So Me? anyway, are, are you like properly? Are you properly on board with this? Because you you have mentioned the first time you mentioned like properly fine, finally crafting something. You immediately went to Jam Jan who asked to start arbitrarily make mashing things together in a pot. So I'm just I'm just gauging you for this. It's Do you again. think I got this scar from just normally doing everyday things and not crafting my craft with if crafting? If you got it, if you got that scar from crafting, then that's the that's what that's why I'm worried. That's why I'm worried, Beelzebub. Yes, but you see, first you don't succeed, then you must craft, 
craft away, my son. Very good, father. Jam Jam immediately begins mixing some of the different uh, incenses together I and just starts st- pounding them with no, no wait, stop, that, Jam stop, Jam, stop, 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 put, put stop. that down, spit that out. Is that a, fro- is that a frog's egg? <laughs> Why are we Mandalorianing Jam Jam? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jam Jam just kind of holds up a little pot full of powder. Would you like to light it, Father? Thank you, Jam Jam. He takes it from a bit, puts it on the table, doesn't light it. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, in the uh, in the bar of the Arcan Arenium, um, there is kind of a cool jazz sound. There's just a pianist playing in the corner, uh, and there are lots of wizards just gathered around. Like, you know, kind of... A, a wizard school they've spared no expense on their fancy bar like it is a uh, it is a members club there are lots of wizards around they're all sort of smoking uh, and talking magical theory uh, while w- a very smart waiters move around uh, bringing drinks to people um, as soon as you uh, as soon as you arrive a uh, a human comes over in his uh, waiter's outfit and says oh, may I find you a seat sirs uh, excuse oh, yeah, me please, sorry, please. sirs <coughs> My apologies, madam. I did not see you there. You were concealed behind the dwarf, who I've just realized is also in this scene. <laughs> oh, God's sake. <laughs> yeah, I should, think so. I should think so. I should think so. Where can we get, uh, like, drinkle poople schnapps? Oh, we specialize in the drinkle poople snaps here. <laughs> Miguel, one drinkle poople snap. Ah, Don't work for here. For the <laughs> Miguel. Come. He, uh, he shows you to a table uh, and uh, presents you with some cocktail menus. <laughs> Everything here is subsidized by the city, so uh, drinks are on the house while you are uh, conducting your business here in the Arcanarium. How long will you be staying with us? Uh, uh, until we get to the end of this menu, at least, for sure, for certain, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 rack them okay, up. So, yeah, let's go. 20, 24 yeah. hours uh, or so. That's yeah. right. Got time. Uh, could I could I, of, could I have one of could I have one of the um uh, could I have a dwarf's beard um well, and uh, uh, no, you have why don't we you why don't we start the poople schnapps yet but no uh, poople schnapps is one of the things that will go into the drinks a, 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 a dwarf's beard look at the menu it has poople schnapps in it you're gonna put poople, why don't we start a little is poople it, in your drink Dan is the cocktail menu in alphabetical order or is it, it is. in oh it is why don't we go alphabetically why don't we have this uh, anal juice first and then like <laughs> No, <laughs> I don't know. It sounds disgusting, but <laughs> no, no, no. That's not anal juice. That's that's shorthand for alchemist. Uh, oh, I see. Right, okay. Alchemist juice, not uh, alchemist juice. Yeah, nice one. Uh, so we'll have oh, one of those. No, no sorry, no, I'm wrong. That's anal juice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. You see, you look, you look at the ingredients, and then that you know, you see, yeah. <clears throat> yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. So yes. Okay. Anal yeah, juice around. Fam- the wizard's familiar. I'm, I'm definitely like. having a poople schnapps in my anal juice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, can we, we have poople schnapps, schnapps in every drink that you bring as well? Yeah. Okay. Yes, please. A poople schnapps ch- chaser with every drink. Yeah. Very good. Thank I'll you. I'll get your anal juices right away, sirs and madam. <laughs> um, he ca- he goes back to the bar. An imp that is squatting on the bar over a glass just looks at the camera and goes, Ah, it's a living! (laughs) (laughs) Oh, 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 God. Oh, my God. Uh, At least it's organic. Um, (laughs) Lately uh, sourced. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yeah, maybe Bubba won't drink this. So you are you are brought around uh, you're brought your rounds of drinks and uh, and little plate little plates of kind of it's not even nuts, it's like just sort of random crispy thing you know you really fancy bars where it's like they don't bring you nuts they bring you like little rice crackers or something like that it's that kind of thing are they um, are they anal nuts is it, um, is it just they don't specify I love the fact that it's a really classy place <laughs> loads of waiters and then the first cocktail is called <laughs> anal juice well, it's, like. it's, it's a fancy place but remember it is for wizards and uh, they're yeah, a yeah, deviant true, lot yeah. to be yeah, honest they're dirty yeah, yeah. dirty wizards, wizards. dirty dirty weird. wizards probably led by blackjack um, Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jack Black. Jack, okay. Jack Black. Do uh, you say Black Jack? Is that Jack Black's <laughs> evil alter ego? <laughs> oh, no, I said Jack Black. Oh. Yeah, you, uh, you said Black Jack. No, what, did I? Right. We've yeah, got yeah, it. Yeah, we've yeah, got yeah, it recorded. Like Jack Black's I look forward to going yeah. back at this. Um, but okay. Well, in that case, <laughs> that was that was a mouth jumble. Um, Absolutely mouth right, jumble. Uh, yeah, yeah. Excuse me. I <laughs> thought I said Jack Black. All right. Um, no, no, it's good. <laughs> 
<laughs> but it's all right because oh, you were dear. talking. You're referring to his uh, his uh, sub-dimensional alter yeah, ego. Yeah, yeah, uh, was talking, yeah. Who's yeah, a pirate? Yeah. I was make, I was doing. I was doing. Yeah. I was doing a callback, um, if you can call it that. Okay. Anyway, uh, that's, we've gone off the fucking track again. <laughs> <laughs> so it. back to the anal juice. Back to the anal juice. That's exactly. God. Yeah. <laughs> Safe for Which is going to be the name oh. of my third album. Uh, <laughs> So you are, you are brought your round of drinks uh, and left your left your own devices for a, a little while while they go away to start working on the next uh, whatever's next on the menu um, for you. Uh, do you wish to discuss anything while you're drinking, or do you just want to get into your cups? Uh, uh, yes, I've got a I've got a question. So all these all these details look. Well, when we get there. What are we going to What are we going to do? How are we going to get into well, this library? I mean, but, uh, everyone well, but, seems very vague. We will try to get into the library using our usual shenanigans and charm, and then and and hopefully we will get in there, um, and then we will look for the books and we will uh, read them and find out more about the shards. And after that, then we must improvise, yeah, because we do not know what to do with ourselves. Um, you know, it's uh, d- d- why, why do you need to have all the plans all the time? Come on, man, you know, relax. No, you're right. No, a nebulous plan with no details. I'll drink to that, and uh, he uh, he takes he chinks his yeah. juice with anyone who I'll, wishes to. And Shania downs a poople uh, snaps with him. I forgot what I called it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you were you were back on. <laughs> okay, all right. snaps. Uh, so right, so we so go there and we just improv our way in and uh, you know uh, it's, well, because look, it's okay, I mean, devils. Look, look. I mean, the, the, uh, when we get there, then we make an assessment. Yeah, I mean, at the moment you have to do things one step at a time. You know, it's, uh, so at the moment we are trying to get to the place. This is the plan for getting to the place. We get drunk and uh, cargo and, uh, and, and and squishy guy. Or I can't remember his goddamn name. Okay, they they're going to they, 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 they're going to do the stuff and we get drunk and then we get there and then we have a look at this place we say oh uh, the, the tower is so high it has this many demons and they act in this way it's, it's what we usually do why, why are you questioning this oh. Fulton comes back from the toilet remembering that he's in this scene uh, <laughs> just going uh, oh don't go in there Jesus oh that was a big old stinker that was Jesus what? what? What's, who is he's, no, he's been eating cheeses. Oh, he's a famous dwarf. He's, oh, oh. oh, really? Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. I thought it was because it's of all the, the cheeses dwarf. that you had been eating that you had such a smelly, you know. Oh, no, but that also as well. Oh, Do dear. It. Don't try Stilton and pocket me at the same time. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm trying to tell Mrs. Stiltfire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dan, so yes. I just rolled a uh, 22 on an Arcana check. Um, dimensional magic is it possible to use whilst drunk Um, I mean it's technically it is possible to use any magic whilst drunk splendid good it it is it is ill advised um, (laughs) to have it it is ill advised to operate any kind of ritual magic while drunk but if you're just going through the portal I mean sort of like a long haul flight to the states or something you know you just have a few drinks that's alright isn't it yeah good (laughs) just knock a few back yeah, I mean, most people get kicked off flights for being really drunk on flights, but you know, you know, you can try. They might just kick you out of the like interdimensional tunnel. What, just are out you, into nowhere. Are you backseat, are you backseat DMing a guy after having <laughs> sung a friendship song yeah. over the top of like an important alchemical ritual in a lab which costs us our lives? But if you want to have a couple of drinks no. beforehand, I mean, that's okay because I'm taking this real seriously, guys. Like, I don't know about you. Um, this, this, um. <laughs> This anal juice is actually like, um, you know, really like such attention to detail, isn't it? It's that sort of anal, not the other it's, anal. It's like because it's, it's coming from Bubba, who sounds sort of a bit innocent. That's the worst thing every time. He, every time. He no, I mean that. Like, it's such a, it's such a, an obsessive cocktail. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? it's that sort it's, of. It's, I mean, it's, it's, yeah. it's very detailed. It's like it's been created by, That's what by I mean, someone yeah. with OCD or something. Yeah. It's, it's almost annoying how good it is. Do you know what I mean? It's got, it's got, it's got quite complex notes, but uh, it's the earthy undertones that really, I think, you know, sort of add to the <laughs> add to the layers in it. Yeah, I think I, I don't think I'll have I another mean, one. It's got you know really, I mean? No, no, no. Well, we've, got, we, look, we've got a whole lot of uh, alphabet to go through. But well, what's we, on the uh, bees? It's got real depth. You ask? know, that's what I was thinking. You know. <laughs> 
Well, we've I've got actually got, are... I've brought up a list of fantasy drink names, so uh, so I can keep us going. Oh, for great! A while. Thank you. Well, yeah. So, uh, so we'll, I suppose we'll have three uh, Balrog. Don't we want to improvise Zelda. more names? Zelda. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> that, Dan's just trying to do that to make sure we don't get any more improv anal juice. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason why he's doing that. <laughs> Velda, we should ask them to do like a tour of the of how they make the drink. I mean, we can see there's an imp literally squatting on the bar. <laughs> uh, I mean, if you want a tour of the imp, then I'm sure that he would acquiesce. Fulton, oh, let's do it. Look at the veins on his forehead. It's extraordinary. <laughs> but what does he how eat? How long has he been forehand? going? Weirdly, he maintains eye contact with Velda the entire time. <laughs> I would expect. I can see, there. like, a, there's a little <laughs> tear in his eye, but he's not ch- changing his gaze at all. Yes, he's definitely crying. It's amazing. Yes. <laughs> Ex- excuse me, Mister Imp. <laughs> oh God! Oh God! <laughs> Tweet us, imps. <laughs> Hello. I just wondered what have do you we eat gone to too get far? such the flavour. <laughs> I eat nothing but avocados and misery. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Thank you. What's your name, by the way? Jean. Jean what? Just Jean. Just Jean. No, right. Jean. no, no. Just not part of my name. It's Jean. <laughs> just Jean. Jean. All Jean. right. See you later, Jean. <sighs> oh, you know, I mean, uh, in the real oh. world, people, there's some people that drink this uh, coffee, which is passed through a cat's <gasps> intestine. I don't know if you know yes. about this. Oh. Yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah, yeah they, they yeah. put coffee beans, a cat eats it and shits it out and then people drink it because they think the coffee beans taste nicer once it's been ingested. Where does through this a happen? Do we know? Uh, this happens all over the place. Really? Yeah, and this is like a Western world thing. Wow. The one I heard... I had one today. Do you remember you could be, get those sort of... Um, they, they were sort of novelty presents for a while and you could get like crickets and grubs yep. and stuff like this. And there was one that was uh, monkey coffee. And it's the same principle. So monkeys would eat the coffee beans and then when they put them out, they'd then collect them and... Apparently, I mean, who discovered this? Who, who <laughs> yeah. thought, oh, do you know what? My coffee doesn't taste very nice. I'm going to feed it to my cat. Oh, my God. It tastes amazing. <laughs> I think I think it was more like somebody was just really desperate for a morning cup of coffee. And he came outside yeah. and the monkey just pooped coffee all over. He's like, well, I guess I guess that's nature's so, bounty right there. Presumably, yeah, the- a monkey or a cat had gotten into someone's coffee. There was no coffee sure, left. Yeah, and then, yeah. yeah, you know, but, and then they went, wow, this is so much better. But it's it's a real Christmas fairy tale, isn't it? I mean, it's... <laughs> That's also a worse telling of it because then instead of someone intentionally feeding it to a cat, someone looked at cat shit and went, I am going to drink that. Yeah. We've all had days like yeah. that. We've all had days where we've needed a coffee that badly. Uh, yeah, Mama uh, said there would be days. It's been a tough this. year, I've, right? You know. To be fair, I've drunk bagel cat tr- factory coffee. Okay, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll try cat shit coffee. Tweet us bagel factory. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sure also, not as um, Greg's wine is a lot of wine that we drink is passed through fish guts. So, mm. yeah. is it? What? Well, explain. Uh, that's really that's the tweet. James. <laughs> um, okay, <laughs> that's it. So you're not going to cite no your sources. Phone. You're not going to explain it. No, no what context. Oh, I, I'll, I'll, I'll Google it now <laughs> on the computer. For you. You, you can't just drop a bombshell like that. Fish, drink your wine and piss it back out before you uh, before you drink I it. James. Oh God, oh, we're going too far. <laughs> We've lost sight of the adventure. Anyway. I don't know. If, I don't know if we can release this episode at all. <laughs> this is this is anyway. completely unusual. Let's get back from get away from this topic. Get back nobody to the talks about one one one. <laughs> Fulton comes back to the table and says, "They make out of avocado and misery." Yeah, oh, that's oh, good to know. I that's can, I can taste the misery. Yeah. Oh, you know what I want to try? Uh, yak's milk. It's alcoholic yak's milk. We have not tasted for so long. Hold, I'm going to see if they have. We've got to do the beef first. Yeah, that's right. The no, beef fuck problem. you guys. Yeah. No. Screw you! I'm tasting the axe milk! I don't care. I already. I, I want to. I want to taste the axe milk. Okay. Shut the fuck up. Hello. Excuse, excuse me. Poopy snaps has gone right to her head. Look at that. It's, yeah, Dave, yeah. Yeah, that yeah, really yeah. Has, uh, excuse it? me, Vetas. Yes? Do you have yak's milk, yeah? Do we have yak's yeah, milk? Yeah, the alcoholic yak's so, milk. Madam, we have the yak. <gasps> you know, pull the uh, curtain aside <laughs> to where there is a multicolored yak uh, hooked up to various pumps. It looks <laughs> dead in the eyes and sheds oh, a tear. Three hours later... <laughs> <laughs> at, uh, back down in the uh, back down in the uh, the basement, Caragor yeah. and Beelzebub, you have been poring over maps, um, things. So you've been brought Caragor. You've been brought uh, samples of Earth, supposedly from Quantium, uh, and some very stale beer. Um, 
and some very strong coffee. Um, you're not sure where it's from. Uh, it's uh, Bill Zabub, you've been just working through this incredibly complex formula and trying to mix. It is, it's so much like maybe one of your alchemical formulas is about a page uh, of notes on how to do it. This is like almost in this is almost an entire book for just one section of the different reagents to mix oh, so you're, you're kind of just working your way through that uh Wormer is uh, is busy preparing uh go, pouring through books looking for the particular ancient rites and chants that are required um as you're all working on it um Wormer looks up from his notes says, how is it going uh great uh, uh. Uh, Caragor finishes the coffee and goes it's alright actually it's got some strange but nice earthy undertones actually <laughs> <laughs> um, aye well uh, this this let me centre it um, get a feel of the city and the feel of the land things from the land things from the city it's good help me hold my senses thank you for this um, it's useful still though I've never been there before so pinpointing exactly on a map and the feel of it it's going to be a whoa gonna be you know it's off if anyone can do it Kerriger I'm sure you can you're my bestest friend Kerriger Ke- he's the bestest friend <laughs> K-A-R-A-G-O-R his name's Kerriger it's Kerriger he's the bestest man a man can have his name's Kerriger his name is Kerriger <laughs> He'll stab you in the eye. Flash oh. forward. Now four. Now another two hours later. Kadigal. <laughs> his name is Kadigal. Kadigal's just like carving his own name into his arm with a knife. Um, <laughs> the, uh, I mean, actually, you did spell that right, actually. Fulton always spells it Kadiga. Oh, that's silly. Your name is Kadigal. You bad mouth in Fulton. No, 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 he, he, no, no. Oh, he's, I mean, you've probably earned a, a little bit of a bitch every now and then. I wouldn't put it past you. That's all right. That's just what friends do every now and then. Yes. Let's uh, let's see how well the preparations are going on a mechanical level. There'll be a, there'll be another couple of these as we go. Let's have a crafting check from Beelzebub. Um, my uh, inspiration of me constantly asking you if you're my friend is uh, Jim Carrey from Cable Guy. Uh, so, who knows if that's going to turn out good? Well, uh, everybody who's watched Cable Guy and obviously <laughs> know, <laughs> even, even if even if they hadn't seen it, we could have worked it out. <laughs> uh, Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Okay. It is going. Um, things are going particularly well so far. You're managing to. Uh, you're making uh, strong progress. Yeah. Worma says that if this carries on this way, then we should have no problem in getting to quantum. It should. Uh, hopefully, if we manage, to, if we are working this hard, there's a good chance that we'll land exactly where we need to. Can let I... us let us test the circle. We will take a short. We will take a short jaunt. Uh, out of the city and then back again. This should uh, be nice and this should be fairly simple. Caragor, I- please, if you could, uh, if you could, he spreads out a map of Absalom. How far would you say it is exactly to this point outside of the city, based on your knowledge of it? Five leagues. Make a survival check for me. <laughs> Can I aid him at all? Uh, no, you're busy doing your own check. I am no pressure, uh, Dangerlings, but I'm rolling my birthday dice given to me by Candice. Um, so thank, thank you, Candice, or maybe I'll save that until I find out what this number is. Ten. Thanks, Candice. Uh, <laughs> the middle of the road. That, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Wormer places, raises his hands over the circle and starts to chant. The room grows dark and the candles flare for a moment and flicker and then dim back down. There, we should have taken a short journey outside of the city and then reappeared exactly where we were. It seems everything seems to have worked exactly right. He goes and opens the door and has a look outside. You can just see darkness and twinkling stars. He just closes the door and goes, 
No, we are in space. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, what do we do? What do we do? We should be able to get back, but it may take a little while. The good news is, no time will have passed in the uh, back in the real world when we return here. <laughs> Although we could be trapped in this room together for another couple of days. Canada, but his name is Canada. We 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 side we sideways go into like a space cosmic horror like <laughs> Ridley Scott film. Um, the uh, wait, hang on, no time would pass. But what happens when we go back and then we do do you rejoin time? Then everything you do just happens all at once. If so, Caragor just goes and pokes Beelzebub just gently but rapidly a few times. Will he then receive all of those things at once when we rejoin time back on Galarion? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't understand space. What is actually? I don't think I've ever heard the name before. What space? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am glad you asked. The the dark tapestry is the endless void in between all things. It is that which is without what is being. It is beyond the planets, beyond the stars, beyond the light. It is the truest expression of darkness. It is unbelievably far and yet somehow incredibly close and within every one of us. Well, also, uh, it's cold as balls. I, You've got an obsession with balls, <laughs> you know. Someone's got an obsession with balls. I thought, I thought that bit was just well, um, the space in between the mighty Armag's headbutts. That's what my mom and dad always used to tell me was that the bits that Armag chose not to kill were the bits uh, in between all the places. Yes, in Can reality, it? there is only killing and life. There is birth and death, and we all exist within the striking of the headbutt that will bring our own oblivion. Some of us are closer to that than others. He's just kind of gazing off into the middle distance. (laughs) Uh, Karagor, imagine, imagine uh, our people here on uh, uh, Inglarian that we eventually would go out into the stars and we would populate these 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 big things and like you'd use big vehicles or something like a big like uh sort of you know like sort of uh, uh thing to get to these places imagine that is and, that is what? such that is such a thing a human would bloody say that is such a typical human thing to say you want to go out and then impose yourself on all these other places as well as imposing <laughs> yourself on all the places back home that's bloody typical of you people that is uh, uh, I'm sorry Beelzebub's just a, Beelzebub's like the Zephyrum Cochrane of, uh, of Pathfinder is it? He's, the, he's the one who's going to invent the warp drive that will <laughs> bring about the future <laughs> yeah but if there's anyone well, oh, sorry. sorry I was going to say if there's anyone that could provide some kind of imbibed fluid to make us survive until that point, Carago looks at the Elzebub. It would probably... It would it would almost definitely be you, the Elzebub. Oh. Thank you, Carago. Thank you. And then Carago untaps his mask and then floats over to give him the kiss <laughs> that will make him survive until the Reavers turn up. Sorry, no, that's a different, it's a different, different. Uh, So, meanwhile, um... The rest of you in the bar, having having worked your way through, ha- worked your way significantly through the uh, through the menu, um, you've had the uh, you've had your ho- a round of holy starlights, you've had your round of potato falls, uh, you've had a round of lager joes. This is this is a good list. I'm liking this. Um, you've made your way through it, but it has it's beginning to occur to you that actually the one thing you haven't done while you're here in Absalom that you need to do before you leave, you do need to go back to the soggy biscuit and settle your tab there. Assuming you intend to. I mean, you haven't paid your bill there. I mean, do we? Do we? I mean, what? we're about to bamf across the world. Are we prepared to get back? But, but are, we, are, we, are we adventurers of honour? Or are we adventurers of a piss on your doorstep? Are we, what if we want to come back to these places, huh? 
I mean, the thing is, right? If we, if you run, if you like Shania, think about it. If you run like a uh, like a bed and breakfast bar thing, right? And people came and stayed there, and then they didn't pay their bill. Like, how would you feel but about that's, that? That's, that's the thing that's, about that's, it. Like, you, that's just what I'm saying. It's, I, I think, I, it's mm. what, that's what I mean. I, do, I, 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 I like it there. I, I may want to come back and yeah, yeah, and, and yeah. sleep there again. You know, I, I like my biscuits. Like one of the best. One of one of the best places I've ever stayed I'm not even saying I'm not just no, saying yeah, no, right, that, it's just one of the look, best places I, I you I've ever stayed that is the one of the best you used to your pair of you used to insult that place every morning, should I? Like, no, oh, how the little pastry's gone now. Oh, no, no, like, how, how, uh, you didn't how, like your room. You said that the bed was uncomfortable, and now we're sat here, and you think it's the best. How dare you, Velda? Yeah, how dare how you? Dare are any you? wizards listening? I like. Uh, are any other wizards listening? I like my biscuits uh, yeah, soggy. Yeah, so a sorceress is listening <laughs> in from other things. Dude, you're embarrassing me in front of the wizards. Yeah, she's a, don't do that. She is an oracle. There we go. You're, you're yeah, an oracle. Oh, yeah. An oracle. yeah, you're an yeah, oracle. You're an oracle. Ah, you little you're oracle. An oracle. <laughs> 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 oh. You're an oracle. You know, I really like these tiny little snacks. She runs out of the bar. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, 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 we, 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 they're very sensitive oh sorry we, we messed, I didn't mean to like up. I didn't mean to upset someone I really enjoyed these little tiny snacks it's like the tiniest poshest pub salads that I've ever seen it's really nice and mm, oh, it's real sticky on my fingers mm, oh 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 excuse me uh, wait wait can we get um, can, could you put some yak's milk in a container I would like to take some with me like in a like some kind of bottle or something bottle it up can you bottle some up please I could take away yeah yeah yeah, yeah, we won't yeah, take a round of yak's milks to go, madam. Of yeah. course, he turns to the yak. The yak is looking thin and exhausted. Do you know what? <laughs> uh, actually, seeing a yak being milked has not improved my opinion of yak's milk any at all. It's, it's, it's made me feel a lot better about the not I, I like to know where my where my milky drinks that make me drunk come from. Okay. Well, Velda, you're you're a smart person. Like, why why oh, is it pink? Much. What? The yak's milk, why is it pink? Uh, well, I imagine because the yak is been eating beetroot. Cool, clearly, yeah. Clearly right. the answer. Um, <laughs> and if you, if you did drink it, then you discover that it has a slightly rooty taste. Well, I mean, I heard that it was because uh, when you milk a yak uh, with the alcohol in it, uh, it's not really supposed to happen. It's quite bad for the yak and it's internal bleeding that seeps into the milk. But, I mean, maybe it's oh, your, I don't know, maybe good, it's your thing. I don't know. God, Really? I thought at, at the very least it would be strawberries or something. I mean, cook. I, pretty sure it's the blood, and maybe that's what helps to get you pissed, you know. Um, and the I tell you yak what, usually dies you, afterwards, so I don't know. You can, you can. Blood stick helps to your you get yak pissed. Milk. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll stick to my juice. Thanks very much. <laughs> but I think it puts hairs on the chest. Yeah. Uh, so the, nice they one. They put Fault. the alcohol in the yak before milk, <laughs> <laughs> and then they shake yeah, yeah, it up. Yeah. Lots and then, uh, <laughs> and then they milk the milk poor it. yak. No yaks were harmed during the uh, recording of this episode. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, ju- I just want that. When Caracol yeah. was into yak's milk, he was always into locally sourced organic <laughs> stuff. But from in Belton, right? You don't get this industrial yeah. farming of yaks. Yeah. All right, this doesn't happen. It's a city thing. It's a big city thing. But this also, is all in Dan's mind. I'm joking. I'm joking. Also, you um, isn't that? Well, I know you hit on that about joking, but aren't isn't there illegally allowed to be a certain amount of blood in dairy milk? Yes, like before it goes to yeah. That's very true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, yeah, because that's why you uh, you get your milk filtered and such, pasteurized. Although yes, I do believe yes. it is possible to milk without that, but it, it depends on the uh, the farmers, I think. See that you get everything. You get environmental yeah. issues being brought up. Everything, man, across the board. Danger Club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, why yeah. If there are over three murders on site, then a dairy does legally have to close <laughs> for a little while to, uh, to clean up. <laughs> <laughs> Too much. Yeah. Anyway, that's the uh, that's the facts that you get with the Danger Club. The amount, the, the, the amount that can come up to your knees but never goes pasteurized. <laughs> I mean, I was trying to think of a pasteurized pun. That I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> is this the rule that, that was this rule spurned from like Midsummer Murders or something? Yeah, this is the provincial uh, detective show which is waiting to be made yeah. by uh, yeah. Granada Television. Uh, <laughs> it's murder in the dairy. Fulton, you're not really saying much. What's going on? 
I am just drinking. It's like drinky, drinky. Oh, such a good time. Drinky, drinky. <laughs> Drinks all in a line, drinky, drinky. See, Papa, this is why you shouldn't encourage speaking to Fulton. Uh, <laughs> is that, is I that, like him. Just mean? shut up, Velda. Uh, Papa's my favourite, and then Shania is in your last. <laughs> well, thank like you for the rankings. Off. That's great. Yeah, yeah, nice one. <laughs> you have brought your Yaks milks to go. No, um, no, I do not have a Yaks milk. Like <laughs> Velda, he can't stay. He didn't like it back in episode yeah. one. He doesn't like it now. She, she has, she has <laughs> got a bunch of them. She, like she quite a few sort of bottles. She's stashed them away, like you know, in sort of bags and things. <laughs> She's got. Come on, we might as well go over to the old uh, biscuit and like settle up the bill. Yeah, okay, let's do this now. This is a perfect yeah, time. Come on, for, you're Can in. We just send let's go. in with some money and I. No, we do this face to face. No, come on, what's wrong with you? Yeah. All right. The honour of it, going and speaking to yes, him face right. to face and like. I want to tell them how much. Did you have a lord or something? Did you have like a little urchin the guy that called you Lord Vel? Yes. Yeah, you loved Where it. Where is he? Well. I think it's still the uh, the soggy biscuits. To be honest, ah, just get him to do it for you. Are, are you just going to leave him I there? Said, well, well, come on, come well, and get your, come and get your, 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 your urchin. Oh, it's all right, fine, fine. Hey, it it were, was moderately good. Hey. I, I'll give it, yeah, sort of two stars. Oi, should we get a carriage over there? Oh, uh, yeah, like you know like what? I was just thinking we've probably got enough for a carriage, yeah. you know, because... Oh, should we get, like, one of them big stretch ones yeah, that's got, like, a roof you can like put your head out yeah. of? And we'll get one of those, and then one of those with the, with the bar. With the bar, back, yeah. With the bar, yeah, with yes. a really awesome whoa, 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 bar. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? I can sit on the back and do things. Hey, on. but you want to enjoy the ride? Yeah, Come on, enjoy. you always. Yeah, you don't do have it. to perform. Bubba, Let's relax. get someone else. All to right, do it. okay, yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Besides, it's raining. Excuse, excuse me, barman. Could you call a stretch carriage for us? There's a bard, a really good bard. We need a, a good, yes, a really good an bard, excellent yeah. bard. Yes. At once, he uh, he puts his hand to his ear, and after several messages, eventually gets <laughs> hold of the uh, the carriage company that he wants, uh, and a carriage is brought to you to, for the uh, uh, to the Arcanarinium, which takes you across town. The carriage costs you three gold pieces, um, but it does have its own bar within it, so you are able to continue drinking uh, as you make your Amazing. way through until you get to the soggy biscuit, um, where there are, are a number of urchins uh, and poor folk gathered around outside. And as soon as you step out, they wait, all point Dan, 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 my lord! <laughs> ah, I want, I I want to know about our bard. Who, who is our bard? Yeah, we have met our bard. Oh, you're like, a bard. Yeah. Oh, yes, I a bard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there, it was, I thought it was a bard. I mean, bar. also I a bar. You want but, but also a bar. There's a bar around the bar. Yeah, play. You see, Dan trying to. Trying to gloss over this, he's trying to like, yeah. f- spend an hour doing this drink. So yeah. as we as we're going just, over, yeah, as just, we go, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Paul. No, I was just saying like it's like we spend an hour doing this. We need to speed this up. Okay, all right. We'll yeah, we need to pass the. We need drink. to get back to the bit that's got Ross in. Oh no, wait. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I didn't. I that's why I was being quiet because I was like, okay, I won't be in two scenes. There's a. Uh, Yes, you have a okay. You have a bard in your carriage. <laughs> no, on the carriage. Uh, as you on arrive, he is there. He's got a harpsichord set up. I mean, if anything, it's taking up a bit more of the carriage than you're comfortable with. But as you are riding, he kind of plays your refrain on the. the can, can you play? Can you play um, the bear? Um, the bear and the nutsack. You know the ones, the bear and the nutsack. <laughs> The bear and the nutsack came to tea. What a funny tea it was for me. The bear he said, Hey, can I have biscuits? The nutsack said nothing at all. <laughs> I think this is it's my remix, favorite. It? Uh, do, do, the, do the one about the, the, the shark jumper. Shark jumper. Oh, I don't know. Could you have it and I'll play along? No, just make it up now. Just uh, go on. You know, Bart, you can do it. <laughs> And you make your way across town. Just while while the bard is singing all yeah. the way, Bubble would like to like sit next to him going, Hey, mate, I'm a bard. I, I, I'm a bard, right? And I don't do it like you do it. I do it a different way. Do you know what I mean? I'm not saying you're always bad, but but yeah, the, I would do it completely differently to you. I'm not saying you're always bad, though, mate. Like, whatever you want to do is fine. But like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm not saying anything bad, mate. I'm not saying anything bad. All this time, Shania, Shania has like sort of stood up and st- started like wiggling her hips and like doing some weird twerky business to the tunes. 
Amazing. Is she like out? Yeah, she's out the window of the carriage. She's like waving at people, going, "Yeah, yeah. yes, that's yeah. right." Vin's this carriage. <laughs> you guys are no fun. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, Mister Bar. Does your uh, does your taxi service uh, employ any immersive actors at all? <laughs> It'd be quite good to just sell the the, the, the now with some immersive actors just in this bar. Yeah, there. that'd be really good. What would they do? Well, I'd just like do a little scene for this, but in the immersive thing. But so so it's so that we've got someone to talk to apart from each other, yeah. Because I'm yeah. super bored cool of chatting to you guys. I need more interesting oh. people. Yeah, I said it. Bard shrugs says, there's never, there's never been a market for it. Believe it or not, a group of immersive actors in a carriage is not as entertaining <laughs> as you might think. The carriage <laughs> rumbles off. Eventually arrives at the soggy biscuit and you... <laughs> And you, I can't believe we're nearly at an hour. Uh, we're going along on our ridiculous drinking episode um, to get this. You pay, you arrive at the soggy biscuit, uh, and you you pay up your bill. Your bill comes to, uh, your, it only comes to a couple of gold pieces. It's not a particularly expensive um, thing. There's a, they've got a, a deal on for the for the week. Um, but as you're coming down the stairs, um, having sort of picked up the last few bits of your belongings. Um, and done like your last check in the cupboards and uh, and under the bed and everything. Um, Philippe wanted to get like a, a, a stash of weapons that he's uh, he's been keeping under the floorboards. <laughs> uh, you make your way back downstairs. There is a familiar figure stood in the uh, by the bar, kind of looking around. It is a halfling wearing f- uh, a halfling woman wearing flowing a flowing shirt, um, and she is holding a bag in her hand. And you recognise Pumpy Scripts. Uh, standing around she's just kind of looking around nervously uh, as she waits by the bar um, until she sees you coming down the thing goes Baba Baba that's your uh, it's your lady who friend. was this <laughs> oh my god and he goes and grabs her and gives her a big hug and he's oh Pumpy oh, what's going on mate are you alright like oh, oh it's so good to see you like it's good to see you, Papa. It's really good to see you. Oh, I just, oh, you know, I've, I've said about how, you know, we left things. So I just, I wanted to be mates. Oh, you listen, know? man, that's all in the past. Like, don't even worry about it. Like, I mean, I'm still pissed off about my instrument and that, but, like, it doesn't matter. You know, you got to be, you got to just, like, seize the day, in it, And, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I'm glad. I'm so glad you're not angry, Papa. I've, yeah, I've, I've got something for you. It's, um... Well, it's, it's not how I wanted it, but... She uh, she opens the bag, and in the bag is your duke, your instrument. However, the neck is broken, uh, and some of the strings are broken on it. It's, oh, mate. Well, I, you know, Mackenzie... Mackenzie has gone. He, uh, he, he he left after he couldn't get another gig in Absalom. Said he was going back to the nest, and... Uh, well, he he was awful mad about what happened, and he he said if that was if this was going to make him think of you, then he didn't want it anymore. He said it was useless, like I was, and and he and he left me with it. I thought it's yours, you know, and I, you know I never meant to take it, you know I never I'd never want to do that to Jillip, so you know she meant the world to me when it, when we used to hang out, and I just you know I I thought you should have it back. Oh, uh, yeah, no, th- you know what, like, yeah, d- d- it's fine, I mean, I've got another instrument now, look, it's really sick, I've got, a, like, an axe blade on it, it's, I haven't even used it yet to smash anyone's heads in, but, like, I've used it to, like, play some stuff, which is wicked, and, you know, I don't know, it's all in the past, I don't want to hold any grudges anymore, I don't want to, I don't want to do that, so, like, yeah, forget it, oh. don't worry about it, yeah, thanks for bringing it back, I'm probably going to... I don't know, cut out the bit that says Jillip in it and then I'll, I'll leave it with... I'll, I'll just get rid of the rest or I'll see if I can fix it. But I'm not that bothered, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great idea, Bubba. You've always got the best ideas about stuff to do with that. You uh, you staying around in town? You know, maybe we could get the old band back together. Maybe we could, you know, do it like old times. Well, I don't know about that. I've moved on, really. I'm doing some, I'm doing my own thing. I've got to go, really. We, we, yeah. Listen, thanks for that. Is um, look, where were you staying? I'll come and find you if if need be. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can do. Yeah, I've got. 
Well, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm trying to, I'm just staying with friends at the moment. I'm trying to sort, I'm just sorting myself out. I'm just, you know, if I, you know, if you were, do you, I don't want to ask, Baba, because, you know, you've done so much for me. But, you know, if, you don't have a few gold, do you? Like, I'm just trying to sort out, oh. I'm just trying to sort out a new place. And, uh, you know, and when, uh, when I've got that, I've got a few things on the go and I just want to, I'll pay you back. I do want to, you know, this isn't this isn't a gift. This is this is just a loan, Bubba. Yeah, of course, mate. Friends. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. I mean, listen, you need to sort yourself out. I, I'm look. I've had a lot to drink right now, but you need to hear the truth, right? You've been mucking around for a long time. You look. I forgive you and everything. I think you, you're still out of order. I'm not gonna. I don't want. I don't want you in my life unfortunately and that's just being real okay you are at your heart you're really lovely but you just you let people down all the time and i can't have that i found a group of people that would never do what the things that you do to me and i can't i can't so listen i'm going to give you some gold i'm going to give you like 10 gold pieces but you can have it Right, and you come up here with a broken instrument. I should be fucking mad, to be honest. But you take these ten gold, and I tell you what: if I never see you again, then I've made my peace with that. I don't want this money back, and I hope you're well. Take care of yourself, and I want you to try and sort yourself out. But don't come chasing me anymore. All right, hoops and scripts are done, mate. Long time ago. I treasure the memories, but yeah, yeah. I mean, you say that you'll be, you know, you might change your mind when you come back. It's, you know, do something. She, but she does take the money from you. Yeah, quite right. Yeah. As soon as you're off it. Like, well, fa- f- f- thank you, Bubba. You've uh, you've really helped me out. I promise. Uh, like, this is a new start for me. I'm 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 gonna turn it around, and you know, I I am gonna. I uh, I will pay you back. I'll I'll find I'll find no, out. No, no, no. You. That's yours. But you just try and get yourself well. All right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know me. I'm always all right, Bubba. I'm always all right. All right. You know? I I suppose I'll uh, I'll see you. Do you you want to stay and have a drink? Pumpy, I'll see you later, mate. And I'll just walk off with the gang. Uh, Shania, you know, sort of sees that he's been through a little bit of stuff and as he comes over she just gently sort of puts a hand on his shoulder and says uh, are you okay Baba? yeah old friend yeah just she's messed up mate she there's no help for her to be honest I shouldn't really give her money because she's only going to spend it on drink and drugs but then I'm saying that and I'm levered right now so I don't know what I'm talking about but yeah she, you know when people let you down one too many times yeah 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 no, I know uh, I know the kind of things that you're talking about but even when you feel like this it can still be hard to say goodbye to someone like this you know so but Baba what was in the bag yeah Oh, you remember my old instrument? The one that you grabbed and tried to, like, get back for me? Yeah, yeah it's that. Oh, well, you got it back. There it is. Yeah, yeah, have a look. And it's broken inside the bag there. Oh. Well, look, I tell you what. Yeah. Look, Bubba, I tell you what. I'll fix that for you, mate. Don't you worry. And uh, Velda sort of wheezes really? slightly and sort of gets in the thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gets in, the, gets in the stretch carriage. Come on. This okay, part, he's fallen yeah, asleep. Let's go. In his action, so yeah. instrument yeah. seems yeah. like a metaphor for your relationship. Oh God! Uh, oh God! Uh, oh, I can. Uh, sorry. Oh, and she gets into the carriage. <laughs> <laughs> you get in the carriage and go away. Meanwhile, back at the Arcanarium, there is a flash in the basement, um, and uh, there is a shudder, and some smoke comes out from under Worma Brainsprout's door. Um, Wormer opens the door uh, and uh, ushers a purple goat out of the door into the street and says, thank you, that was a lovely time, uh, and then closes it and turns back to the, the other two of you and says, I'm aware we were away for a long time, but uh, I hope we have all grown as a part of that. The good news is the preparations for the ritual are just about now complete. We should summon your friends and 
I hope that they have not been doing anything that could give them queasy stomachs, because it is going to be a bumpy ride. And that is where we leave it for tonight. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Nice. <clears throat> oh, dear. Sorry we didn't get quite as much Caragor on Beelzebub. I forgot how much a drinking <laughs> section get, can get. <laughs> yeah, right. Listen, uh, <laughs> listening to you three idiots bang on really made me miss going to a pub. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, we'll definitely yeah, turn that yeah. in and like, hang on a second, I'm back. Yeah. Sweet, yeah. sweet, <laughs> We're drunk living talk. vicariously yeah. through the podcast, man. This week's episode was made possible by our amazing patrons, specifically our Dangerling of the Week. It's Candice. Candice murdered one of my characters in a game once, but you know what? I respect that. So, Candice danger point if you would like to get your name on the show go to patreon.com slash danger club podcast thank you candace we'll see you all next week hello dangerlings it's colin hubbard here now i just thought i'd add a little treat onto the end of this episode because for those people that are not subscribed to our patreon you won't know about this we have an extra show that we drop once a week and it's called danger recall what's that show about i hear you cry well what it is is we as the podcast the members that make the danger club podcast we go back to the start and we listen to all our episodes and then we talk about it and we talk about how we felt when we were recording that episode. We talk about any facts that you might not know and we deep dive into our characters and we talk about references that we make on the show and it's just a general nice hangout of us on the podcast talking about the podcast that we love and we create. And I thought, why not, at the end of this episode, give you a little taster of one of these little nuggets of joy that we've been putting out on our Patreon. In this particular part, we're talking about episode 10 of the Danger Club podcast. So if you haven't listened to episode 10, there's a few spoilers in this clip. I mean, if you haven't listened to episode 10 and you're listening to this episode, which is 111, then I mean, you're probably... Spoilers are going to be a plenty. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so here you go. You got about 10 minutes of a Danger Recall episode for you to listen to. Enjoy. Thank you, Dangerlings. Classic. We also, just before that, we had our first celebrity do our intro as well. Who did David Attenborough. Oh, David did. So oh David yeah, we did. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he was so, quite good, so actually. David yeah, he came in after filming some uh, nice. Planet Earth. And uh, he did a little voiceover for us. He was very us. professional, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's not good, nice too. Yeah, yeah. And he always, he always has to say his name as well, which is weird. So strange. <laughs> yeah. So strange. And my, my favorite thing about him was the fact that he uh, he said that he watches the podcast. <laughs> yeah. He started doing an audio podcast. And the fact that he does it while filming Planet Earth, which was filmed several years before <laughs> yeah. we ever had the idea to do this. I mean, yeah. he's quite old, isn't he? He's yeah. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't know what's going on, does he? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, then we have the chat about the neighbours. Do you remember the neighbours? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we chat about brownies. Is that where drum. we found out we all mm -hmm. had, like, quite decent neighbours? Yeah, 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 we did, yeah. Dan said no yeah. one knows their neighbours, and then we proceeded to prove him wrong <laughs> yeah. by telling uh, him how much we know about Yeah, you got brownies. I got a courgette. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a... Uh, uh, Scott got really wasted with him. Uh, yeah, I got, I got a house Also pie, suggestible yeah. things, brownies, courgettes. Also, yeah. there was a, a peek behind the curtain. There was something cut from this episode. What was? About the neighbours. Uh, we each went around oh. and talked about our neighbours. <laughs> I was thinking about this. And, uh, <laughs> and I said a rude word about my neighbour. Oh, yeah, you did. And uh, we had to cut it. Uh, <laughs> that's a no, that's a no. <laughs> that was really You funny. really slated your neighbour, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Was, oh, yeah, I said a really bad word. incredibly funny. Yeah. And I think we all wish we could have left it in, really. Oi, Rush, but. you've moved now, so you could, like, slag them off if you want. Oh, uh, this is true. Yeah, yeah. She, well, no, no, I won't, I won't, I won't. She, you know, patrons. You're not yeah. going to diss them on the internet. No. Nah, Your nah. mama taught you better than that. Yeah. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. All right, cool, so is, this, right. is this twice in 10 episodes that Ross has had content cut for it being inappropriate for air? For <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, then we referenced the right honourable J uh, Jeremy Corbyn. So... If you don't know who he is, uh, nobody else does. Anyone else does these days. <laughs> yeah, we've forgotten about him completely. At twelve twenty, we actually go to see the Sphinx. Hey. I like I in this uh, just in the preamble uh, drum trying to remember all of our social medias as well. <laughs> oh, that was fantastic! Uh, yeah, they were fondle fuck. Uh, 
turnip brain and uh, docile being. <laughs> docile <laughs> being! That sounds like a clothing line, like bathing ape. <laughs> I mean, the, th- the thing is, Dan threw that to He me threw it out, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He knew I was going to mess that up, man. Like, so uh, that was purposeful stuff. It was great. Anyway. So we actually go and see the Sphinx. M takes the lead, but he's kind of nearly dead at this point in time so uh you know they talk about they ask about the enemies m asks two questions and then the team take over which i think is great because m was mm. really he'd just been stabbed you know all of this was going on um the the, the, the sphinx kind of steps forward and then steps back again and that's when we all start kind of questioning whether the sphinx is real Do i did anyway. the, like the, 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 sort of the progression of of how that interview goes is fantastic like you know what i mean because like we're not getting much out we're not getting much we're not getting much um but we get just about enough and then once we start discussing it yeah you know what i mean it's it's like wait a minute can sphinxes do that we check no they can't and then it's like so either someone's doing it you know what i mean or it's someone else and then and then yeah Carragor finally hits on on like uh, maybe what you know was was she ever actually here and like I, I really enjoyed listening to how we sort of peeled the onion on that one you know and I'm, also you, you mention a shapeshifter yes I do like Shania says oh yeah. maybe it's a shapeshifter or something and I was like yeah. listening back I was like fucking hell like how do we get there we do as well it is it is what it is not what we get from the Sphinx bunny ear quotes mm. um but what we yeah as you say piece together towards the end i can hear when you're like when shania's got that bit of like you're just basically begging the sphinx to say something i can hear your frustration mm. at the module just being like <laughs> yeah. please anything at this point literally <laughs> anything can we know anything and yeah. Velda does it a little bit later on as well being like just tell us any literally anything we've been 48 hours we've got nothing we've beaten up some skulls we punched a clown yesterday just something <laughs> like, speaking of velda velda i think we have our first velda leaves in this this episode if only it's james was here yeah. to tell us about velda leaves and how he came up with that because it I was brilliant believe. that just happened whoa, whoa! james sorry guys in the room. sorry i was just updating my profile on docile being so <laughs> 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 you're not info so being team <laughs> turnip brain like all the cool kids yeah <laughs> team this is a first we've got a full house for danger <laughs> So thank you everyone for being here, James. How are you feeling today? Uh, yeah, good, good. Glad to be here. Yeah, and uh, a little ray of sunshine on an otherwise pretty rainy day. But it is um, a rainy day in London. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the first perhaps action of Velda leaving. But I had talked about leaving quite a few times already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm just want to leave, we and uh, and then I think this was the first one I actually did. Yeah, and I think we also said hashtag Velda leaves. I think yeah, as well. Yeah. That's yeah. our first T-shirt. Yeah. I think we yeah. said yeah, <clears throat> or maybe our second T-shirt. I can't remember yeah. exactly. Um, Kara figures out that it might have all been an illusion um, because the uh, Sphinx uh, goes to teleport and Velda finds out that the Sphinxes can't teleport. Mm. So, uh, yeah, Kara goes uh, like, this Shania is an illusion. Shania finds somewhere. out that they can't teleport. Oh, My mistake. It was yeah. Shania. It was, it, was, it was a nature. Because uh, I remember cause when I was listening to it, I was like, do, we, like, do I roll for nature now in like the new... I do. All right, okay, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> I like the way that Drum still looked at Dan and Dan still nodded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like, it's <laughs> literally <laughs> reconstruction. I love the fact as well that someone says, I think it was me actually, there's no string ball. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <that's> right. <laughs> there's no like gazelle. And Dan says, yeah, a gazelle with the body of a man. Or something <laughs> like that. Yeah, yeah. It, was a real, it was a real moment that, I, and, and it's tempting like with sort of mystery things to keep going, you know, like it's the whole like planets on a cob thing from Rick and Morty where you go, work this out, work this out. They apply the academic thing. Someone says it was Caragor going, who's like oh maybe she wasn't even here and then the temptation is just to be like is any of this here yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. did you all just fall yeah. asleep inside of one in Fulton's pocket meat dreams <laughs> like at the carnival and we like I love this next thing falls away disappears you know what I mean turns into electrons or whatever <laughs> yeah yeah the bit when you grab uh, it's so funny listening back because both Shania and Caragor just grab Travis yeah like oh he God. <laughs> That, he just yeah. comes into the M does it like, quite a bit, but yeah. in this episode, it's empty. Yeah, yeah. Mm. There's, a, there's a lot of stuff going on. It's an interesting one because it's the first episode where you guys really all come together. Like, everyone contributes an idea in that scene that leads to you working out what it is. Yeah, yeah. And, and you don't turn on each other for trying to come up with an idea like you do during, like, the early investigations <laughs> when it's just attacking each other for looking at tracks and, like, do, like talking over it. This is the first time everyone kind of works together and, and accomplishes it. And it's great. It's a great one to gm because i'm just sitting there with this like the mystery and i'm just like solved that they've solved that they've solved <laughs> yeah. that and it's just really satisfying when it's like they're picking up every clue 
I love this bit with Fulton when he goes halfway in and out of the door. <laughs> <laughs> that whole like bit where I'm just like, no, don't, don't, don't go out. Stay so go in. out and then meme people. <laughs> and then yeah. It, and then, yeah, it turns into maiming and killing yeah, as well, yeah, man. Yeah. The like sort of I, misunderstanding. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I love that the list of suspects we've got is uh, two humans wearing boots. Boots and uh, eyes. Yeah, 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 boots yeah. and yeah. eyes. Yeah. That's, yeah. A, that's one, of the, one of Scott's very early like frustrations <laughs> at how yeah how bad yeah. we are at playing the game like we also had good. Zibuti Man mentioned in the last episode oh, which really? we didn't get to because I think I skipped over uh, it because of time to yeah. be fair we still haven't found Zibuti Man no. we haven't found no. Zibuti <laughs> Man no. to this day. still at large now Shania then yeah. speaks to because we find Ika uh, she tells yeah. us that she's Gerizana and M does his whole like um, teacher thing. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, you oh, could it's tell all right. Colin's okay. a teacher, yeah. Yeah, right. You can tell I've done that before. Like. Yeah. And then Shania speaks to Ika about the boots and eyes. Ika just screams and casts dancing lights. That's a really good image, isn't it? Yeah. With her, like, thrusting dancing lights all over you. Yeah. I mean, this is like, it, like when I was listening back to it, I was like, ah, oh, you know, this is like, like it really sort of builds to a, to a bit of a, a, a peak, you know, mm. like, um, like there's something sort of, uh, pretty cinematic about it. Now, I mean, I haven't, I haven't had a chance to listen back to any of the ones before this, but like in my memory, um, like this is the first time that we sort of hit that. Cause when we, when we used to play together, like we always sort of made each other laugh and whatnot, you know what I mean? But then there were certain points when, you know, it sort of built, things sort of just came together in a certain way and, you know, it felt cinematic and that was the first time it had happened on the podcast, you know what I mean? Which is uh, very, you know, quite exciting, I think. So Ica goes to run away and then Caragor tries to grab her and slips and fumbles and uh, uh, no, Cara does grab her and no, Shania... Caragor does Caragor succeed. Misses. You're getting mixed up because Caragor on, rolled me. so badly throughout <laughs> the first 12 episodes of this campaign that <laughs> you're didn't. rightly justifyingly thinking that I missed that. I think it's later on where I go to grab, where Caragor goes to grab Travis, misses epically, and then Shania oh, yeah. just yeah. him out of the That's air. It, yeah. That's yeah. similar. That's yeah. right. But yeah. then Shania, at 36 minutes and 10 seconds, gives her real name we Ooh. find out who Shania is yeah a little reveal moment there I mean you know like people who listen to it pretty much knew that because yeah, yeah you know but um but yeah you know it's a reveal for the club so um yeah and like and I really like because I've been waiting for a moment when that could come out you know yeah. and I was just like oh this is an opportunity. Dan, as a GM, how did you feel about someone using their real name? Oh, finally, it was great because we were like, I think Caragor's real name came out a couple of episodes before in nope. the bar. Or is, no. it, is it not come out yet? Not coming out no. yet. Oh, we haven't found out who Caragor oh, is yet. Dan, no, that's in my yeah. notes, mate. All right. So we're still waiting on that. But yeah, it was that was one of the things I think I said on an earlier Danger Recall. That was one of the things I wish I'd put as a rule at the start of it was I'd, uh, the two rules I would have put on if I'd thought about it was like change up your alignments a little bit so you're not all chaotic neutral yeah, yeah. And, and can everyone just start with their real name to make it less confusing <laughs> yeah. but actually then we yeah. wouldn't have had Gary so it would have been uh, you know and, and we wouldn't have had this lovely reveal which is a uh, you know it's a huge moment it's a huge moment for the whole story because it's everything is yeah. hanging on a knife edge at this point you've got Shania is about to leave uh, you've just found out the carnival haven't been straight with you having just started to trust them a little bit so everyone's not sure is the carnival are ready to kick off like yeah, they are yeah. like and there are enough of them to t to pro uh, prove a, a serious problem there were a lot of people ask dangerlings asking back at the time of like what would have happened if the danger club had fought the town or had fought the um the carnival and there were times where that was really close and that was like we would have been dead wouldn't we yeah we would have just been dead no they'd have been dead oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I love this them. Yeah. I love this next bit where Fulton just says fuck you to Velda for no reason <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like fuck you <laughs> I remember that yeah. Fulton was arbitrary even more so back in these early yeah, days so it really reminded me it's worth yeah. noting yeah because like there's a few shout outs like in, in early episodes before this one as well